So just a few hours ago, the Erie County Stadium Corporation directors, they unanimously approved the general project plan for the brand new Buffalo Bills Stadium. And as two on your side's Kelly Dudzik tells us, that means they are close to signing the agreements. Even though this was a public meeting, nobody from the public spoke up today to give comments, but we did learn more about the community benefits agreement. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Pass unanimously. Monday afternoon's vote by the Erie County Stadium Corporation directors, part of Empire State Development, authorizes the agreements to be signed. That includes financial agreements, the environmental review, lease, and the Community Benefits Agreement, or CBA. Most of what's in the summary released before the meeting is information we already knew, but it did reveal some of the CBA. Erie County Legislative Chair April Baskin calls it historic. We got very, very close. Um, I would have liked to see some neighborhoods specified. We know the hardship that East Buffalo has faced um, in the last few years. Included in the CBA, a $3 million a year commitment to the community by the bills, a requirement that the county and bills work in good faith to expand public transportation to the stadium, and a goal of having 30% of the retailers, vendors, and service companies used in the stadium for maintenance and operations be women or minority business enterprises. There will also be a nine-person community benefit oversight committee. I would have liked to see the black communities more or less specified um, in the CBA, but I can understand for legal reasons why that's not necessarily appropriate. But I do believe with having c community oversight, I do believe with what we've already seen from the Buffalo Bills in terms of their attention to the black community during hardship, that we're going to continue to see some reinvestment there. Before it's all official, there's a public hearing. If there are significant negative comments, the board would meet again in February for final approval. So there's a public hearing February 2nd, and the attorney said that some light work could begin in March with big construction starting in June, most likely. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.